Top 20 HVAC Interview Questions and Answers Are you preparing for a heating, ventilation, and air conditioning technician, HVAC, job interview? Here, we have compiled commonly asked HVAC interview questions together with their best answers. 1. Why are you interested in this role? The interviewer asks this question to understand what pushed you to apply for this job. The best strategy to answer this question is to demonstrate interest and passion for the job. Sample answer, I am passionate about working one-on-one -on -one with people as I help them solve their problems. My unique skills enable me to serve other people in installing and repairing their HVAC equipment. I feel happy when I'm able to use my skills to help people get comfortable in both cold and hot temperatures. This job will allow me to interact directly with customers as I make positive impacts in their lives. I'm aware of how either extreme temperatures can affect people and I'm dedicated to helping them manage such problems. 2. What are the roles of an HVAC technician? Your response to this question enables your interviewer to know whether you are aware of your duties should you be hired for the job. The best way to respond to this question is to list a few responsibilities of an HVAC as you align them with the job. Sample answer. The main responsibilities of an HVAC technician are to repair and install various air quality systems. They locate and diagnose any problem on equipment as well as maintain that equipment. HVAC technician also conducts warranty services as well as perform emergency repairs on certain equipment items. Other duties of an HVAC technician include removing old systems, installing new systems, performing routine maintenance, training other members, meeting local HVAC codes, ordering and maintaining equipment. 3. What are the qualities that an HVAC technician needs to be successful? The hiring manager asks this question to know if you know the qualities you should have as an HVAC technician. In your response, list some of the qualities of an HVAC technician as you connect to the employer's needs. Sample answer, a skilled HVAC technician needs to have strong time management, organizational, troubleshooting, communication, and critical thinking skills to be successful. He must be willing to learn too. Additionally, he or she must have a mechanical aptitude to understand components, testers, systems, and tools. An HVAC needs also to be patient, attentive to details, social, and customer service oriented. 4. What major challenges did you face during your last role? Interviewers understand that you need strong interpersonal skills. They will ask you this question to assess how you can handle a challenging situation at work. Describe the situation that you considered a challenge from your previous role and show how you managed it. Sample answer, it was during summer and the temperature was extremely hot. A client called into her house to fix her HVAC that had stopped working. I immediately went to her house. Unfortunately, while in her house, I realized that I did not have the parts required to fix the unit immediately. The woman was very angry with me that she began raising her voice as she insulted me claiming that I am incompetent. The chaos attracted a crowd that came to see what was happening. After she had finished venting her frustrations, I repeated what she was saying in my own words to ensure that I understood her concerns. I assured her that I was going to do everything in my power to fix the problem as soon as possible. I lent her a fan I had in the truck while I went to get the part. She was very happy that she began to apologize for her actions. After I got the part, I quickly fixed the problem. This situation taught me how important empathy is. Empathizing with this client and open communication helped her to calm down. 5. Describe your daily routine as an HVAC technician. The interviewer asks this question to know how you prioritize your work. In your response, demonstrate that you are a good manager of time. Sample answer, I begin my day by reporting to my boss every morning. Then, I review my emails and voice messages to check if there is anything that I need to respond to. I then embark on my usual duties which include removing old systems, installing new systems, 
performing routine maintenance, training other members, meeting local HVAC codes, ordering and maintaining equipment. 6. Describe briefly about your experience. The interviewer wants to know whether your background relates to the needs of the company. Give a summary of your work history as you connect it with the job. Sample answer. I am a dedicated and self-driven HVAC. I have been servicing commercial and residential equipment for 10 years now. I have gained enough experience in repairing and installing a variety of quality systems. My duties included removing old systems, installing new systems, performing routine maintenance, training other members, meeting local HVAC codes, ordering and maintaining equipment. I have also been a service and installation manager for two years. With all the expertise and knowledge that I possess, I believe that I will make a success of this role in your company. 7. What kind of strategies and mindset is required for this role? The interviewer wants to know the mindset you have put in place to perform in this role. Be brief as you showcase the strategies and mindset you will use in the role. Sample answer. Every HVAC technician needs to know that he is responsible for his safety and other people. He must be aware of the safety hazards associated with repairing heating, ventilation, and cooling systems. A good HVAC needs to have a clear mindset and strategies of how to prevent accidents inspect, and troubleshoot potential issues. 8. What is the biggest challenge that you foresee in this job? The hiring team wants to know whether you are familiar with the developments in this industry. Share about the challenges you can foresee in this job. Sample answer. Many challenges are facing this industry including changes in technology and other techniques. The main challenge is that there might not be enough trained HVAC professionals in the industry. This can result in a strained workforce. However, I am up for the challenge since I am eager and ready to train others to skillfully perform this task. 9. How do you stay motivated in your work? The response you provide for this question makes the interviewer understand your interests and values. Share what you professionally value in your work as you connect to the job at hand. Sample answer. I am motivated by offering solutions to people. I am happy whenever I put a smile on people's faces. I desire to use my skills to make this world a better place to live. Additionally, bigger challenges also motivate me to want to become better and improve my skills. 10. Describe a time when you failed in this role and the lesson you learn. The employer asks this question to know if you can admit your mistakes or not. In your response, do not blame others for your mistakes but own them. Remember to share the lessons you learned from your failure. Sample answer. When I was new in this career, a client called me to install a piece of new cooling equipment in her home. The extreme temperatures were unbearable and she wanted me to install it as quickly as possible. However, it required more time than she had anticipated. The lady was very frustrated and started complaining that I was not competent enough and that I was also very slow. I remained calm and continued with my work. The more I worked hard the more she complained. I paused a little while and I repeated everything she was saying in my own words to show her that I was listening to her complaints. I then gave her a time frame of when she should expect me to complete the work. She calmed down and waited patiently. To my surprise, I finished installing the cooling system before the scheduled time and she was happy. She gratefully thanked me. Looking back, I realize that telling your client the time frame of the task you are carrying out is important. 11. Why do you feel you are the most suited for this role? The hiring team wants to find whether your qualifications fit the needs of the company. This is the time to project your skills, traits experience, education, and achievements. Sample answer. I am a licensed HVAC technician with a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. I'm also a self-driven, good communicator with strong communication and organizational skills. I have also received HVAC training. Previously, I worked for six years as an HVAC technician where I was tasked with installing, maintaining, and repairing heating, air conditioning, and refrigeration systems. 
12. Share with us your greatest achievement. The interviewer wants to know what you consider as success. Share the success that you are most proud of. Sample answer My greatest achievement is when I was tasked with training newly employed staff in my previous role. Though they had just graduated from the university, they didn't have any experience whatsoever. After the training, each one was given a role including installing new equipment, repairing, maintaining, or servicing equipment. To my surprise, they all did the roles successfully. 13. What do you understand by VOV and how does it work? The hiring team asks this question to test your knowledge in this industry. Define the term and state it's working. Sample answer. VOV refers to pressure independent and pressure dependent. VOV controls the flow of temperature and air. With pressure dependent, the volume of air supplied by the terminal unit varies depending upon the static pressure, SP, in the primary air duct. Pressure independent terminal units have flow sensing devices that limit the flow rate through the box. They can control the maximum and minimum CFM that can be supplied and are therefore independent of the SP in the primary air duct. Pressure independent systems can be balanced and will allow the correct air flow from each terminal. 14. A client comes to you with energy concerns. How would you speak with that client? Your response to this question enables your employer to know whether you have customer service skills. The best way to answer this question is to provide a response that points to both parts of the question. Sample answer. Depending on the energy concern the client raise, I will know how to handle the situation. For instance, if the client wants better energy and not a new unit, I would suggest a retrofitting of his current unit. This will help the client save on cost as well as improve the unit. 15. Explain the types of air conditioning systems. The interviewer asks this question to gauge your knowledge in this field. Explain some of the conditioning systems you may have worked with to demonstrate that you are skilled in the industry. Sample answer. There are many types of air conditioning systems including window air conditioner, central air conditioning system, packaged air conditioner, and split air conditioner. The choice of air conditioning systems to use is determined by factors such as the size of the area to be cooled and the total heat generated inside the enclosed area. 16. What can you do when a customer job is taking longer than it should and you have another appointment coming up? This is a situational question that an interviewer asks to see how you perform in demanding situations. You can respond to this question by giving a hypothetical answer and telling the interviewer what you would do if this situation happens while you were working. Sample answer. I understand that transparency is very crucial in building rapport with our customers. If such a case happens, I would call the customer immediately I realize that I may not be there on time. I would apologize to the client for the possibility of availing myself of the schedule. I will then continue serving the other customer to ensure to meet his or her satisfaction. Once I'm done with the job, I will then attend to the second customer. 17. Have you ever used technology to explain options to a customer? There are a variety of technologies a customer can use in this field and the employer want to determine your experience in using some of these tools. To respond to this question, explain the experience you may have had using technology at work. Sample answer, yes, I have. I have used an HVAC software app that I could easily manage on my phone. I could show clients digital prices of books, inform them about the different invoice choices, as well as accept payments through the app. This made work easy for me and my clients. Clients enjoyed receiving a range of options provided to them before we could start working. 18. How do you stay informed regarding the latest developments in the HVAC field? Your response to this question enables the interviewer to determine your ability to stay informed on new HVAC developments. Explain to your interviewer what you are doing to keep yourself updated within this field. Sample answer. My previous employer had provided us with online resources that helped me to keep up with new developments within this industry. 
I always check out those resources to update myself on any recent change in the industry. I am also taking an HVAC continuing education class. Here, our instructors keep informing the HVAC technicians of current trends. Additionally, I have a cordial relationship with other HVAC and we empower each other including updating one another on the latest developments. 19. Have you ever had a conflict with a boss? The interviewer is seeking to know how you deal with conflicts. They understand that many employees fail in how they handle conflicts. The best strategy to answer this question is by talking briefly about the conflict and focusing on the resolution. Discuss how the conflict came about, the actions you took to resolve it, and the result. Sample answer, well, I cannot remember having a conflict with my boss. However, if one occurs in the course of working, I would seek an appointment with my boss to discuss the conflict. I am a person who admits mistakes and apologizes for my failures. I believe that respect, strong interpersonal, problem-solving, and communication skills can help us solve any disagreements. 20. Do you have any question for me? The interviewer wants to know whether you need any clarification. This is the time to seek clarification of the things that are not clear to you. Sample answers, I would want to thank you for having taken your time to interview me. The way you have conducted this interview was impressive and professional. I would be glad if you tell me when to expect the outcome of this interview. Conclusion, practice how to respond correctly to these interview questions. That can make all the difference during your interview and enable you to emerge as the best candidate.